Hello friends, welcome to the SYBC IT Semester 4 Embedded System Practicals. Today's practical is to interface 8 LEDs at input-output port and create different patterns. So here is the program to write different LED patterns. This is not any fixed program. We have just set the LED on off randomly or you can have some regular pattern to which this LEDs can go on and off and that's how it will create the different LED patterns. You can also use different colored LEDs to show this pattern nicely. What we require at most is the delay function. Now here I have used a loop delay. You can also use T mod timer uh, to create this delay. Now after some pattern, the, if you want to display the next pattern on the LEDs, you can call this delay function so that the output will look uh, animated. Here I am using S beat so that I can use the single pin of the port. So you see port P2 is used and single pins are used for different LED. So for LED 1, I am used P0. Uh, there is pin 0 of port P2. Similarly for second LED, it is pin number 1 of port P2 and so on. So all the 8 pins are used. So in this way you can use you can use all these pins to create different random patterns on 8 different LEDs. This is how your key software ID will look like when you are going to write your program into this software. Here is the output. You see 8 different LEDs are connected to the microcontrollers port P2 and to those different 8 pins. And according to some pattern that we have uh, created in our program, according to that, these LEDs will go on and on and it will create different LED making pattern. So let us see how the program is to be coded and how it is to be executed and how it is to be simulated. So to write up the code, you require key software. So just type here key and when you click on open, you will get this ID. So it is always better to close everything before you start a new project. To start with new project, click on project, new micro region project. Here you can give some uh, name of your project. So I am just writing random LEDs or LED pattern. I am giving some relevant name. You can give any name here. Click on save. Then here you can select 8, 8, 9. Now this is the microcontroller that we require to go. Click on OK. Simply ignore this. You can click on No because we are not using any by default startup code. So after doing that, you see that your project has got created with empty package. Now here we are going to add a uh, file, C file, embedded C code. To do so, you can simply click on this new. You can also click on file and click on new. Now here you can type your code. So instead of typing, I will use my previously written code. So here is the code. I am pasting it. Now you see that this is this is looking looking like normal file. But if you are going to save this file with .c, this will become a interpreted file. So let me just write the same name. It is not necessary to use the same name as your project name to this C file. You can write any name, but I am keeping it same for my reference. So just make sure that you are using this extension .c in all files is selected. Click on save. And now you see that this program got interpreted for different keywords like this S beat old. It can also check for the matching curly braces that have in your program. So any typographical errors are going to be there. It will definitely going to prompt you or it is going to show you in this way. So this is how the program is written. So once this program is saved, now the next step is to right click on this source package and add files. So click on add existing files and select your .c file that we have just created. So you see this is the c file, click on add, click on close. So now you see to this source package this file has got added. 
Now the next step is to build the target. So before building, you can simply right click on it and you can set the frequency to 11.0592 and to the output you can click on this create hex file and click OK. So after doing that, simply click on build. So it will build the hex file. So it is important to check there are zero errors and zero warnings. Even with some warnings, the program will execute but there shouldn't be any errors. Now since it has created this hex file with the name this random 8 file, this same hex file I used to simulate on my ISIS produce simulator. So to check on that, you can open this by typing ISIS produce simulator. So after clicking on open, you get this ID. Now there is some previously designed uh, uh, previous design is there, if I am going to click on this new, it will ask me whether you want to save the current design. So since I this it required this for my future reference, I will be storing this into the design folder. So that was my uh, some different uh, design, so I save it, make some observant new. Now this is what the new canvas you got. Now here in this canvas you should first click on component mode and click on pick devices. So type here 889. So this will list this up processor. So click on OK. Then we also need LEDs. So again click on pick devices and click on LED. So here are different varieties of LEDs that you will get. So I'm going to use different color of LED. So I will be using LED blue, so just double click on it, it will get added, LED green, LED red and LED yellow. Uh, so this is how you can check different, uh, take different values. Now you can close this, now click on this microcontroller and let's set our canvas. Now because we are going to use 8 LEDs. So I'm going to use this 8 LED first one. So I'm just trying to align them properly so that I can connect all the lines or the pins of the microcontroller properly. So here is here are this different LEDs. So first of all I use blue, then I went to green LEDs, then now I'm using red LEDs, and lastly I'll be using yellow LEDs here. So I'm placing them uniformly so that it will be for neat and tidy diagram. Now to this LEDs we require a ground connection. So click here on toggle mode, click on this ground. Only one ground connection is sufficient to connect all these LEDs. After uh, drawing this ground connection, you simply press escape and connect this terminal of LED to the ground. So you can connect all these LEDs to this ground this way. So this is a common ground. So this way you can connect this second end of LED here. Yes. Now the next is since we have used port P2 we will be connecting these port P2 pins to all these LEDs. So first pin I connected to first LED, second pin to second LED and so on. So this may take 2 to 3 minutes to return. If you want it to be cleaner and neat diagram, it should take some time and draw it nicely. So that it should not create any confusion later on when you are referring to this diagram. So this is how all the LEDs are connected to the pins and the ground. Now it is time to um, use the hex file on this microcontroller. To do so, just double click on this microcontroller and this dialog box will open. From here, you can select the hex file. Now our hex file seems to be in object. Now that was my another folder. It was in this folder objects and we see some name this random LED patterns hex file so, so click on open 
here you can change the frequency to 11.0592 whatever if you don't want to change like it be like this click on ok and now you can send it so you see this is what different patterns as we have used in our program as LEDs are being uh, these LEDs are blinking according to the pattern so if you want the blinking to be faster or slower you can change it with this so here you see for this uh, program we have used DL so here if you want it little bit faster instead of 10 you can make it 5 and you see how these LEDs will glow so this these LEDs will blink faster now here you don't need to attach that hex file again and again this will automatically take an effect now you see this will blink little faster so this is how we can create different LEDs pattern blinking pattern to stop the simulation you can click on the stop button if you want these LEDs to be it is slower, glowing little slower, so I am making it 15, you can save this, then build this target again and simply click here. So you see that now there is a more delay than the previous one. So this is how we can use this microcontroller to generate different LED patterns. Thank you for watching this video.